in today's video we are unboxing the samsung note 20 ultra 5g i'm ready to start using this phone so we're going to get right into it for the unboxing you will need the note 20 ultra any accessories you choose to buy i have a phone case and screen protector you'll need the phone that you're switching from in my case this is a pixel 3 xl and you'll also need your laptop so you can log into your account and do any of the other setup things that you'll need. So we're going to go ahead and open the box. Finally got that out. Here's the phone. Ooh, <sighs> that's sexy. The phone feels good in my hand. Feels like a premium device. There are the cameras on the back. There are plenty of reviews that talk about all the technical stuff, like all the tech specs. So. I'll leave you if you want to go check out all those videos feel free to do that my video is going to be more about actually using the phone got our wall adapter Charger cord per usual. They are not super long. The cords you get included with the phone are always kind of short, which is always a disappointment, especially when you spend a lot of money on the phone. But whatever. And we have something going on in the lid up here. Let's see all this out of the way. And we got our little handy dandy. SIM card opener. And some miscellaneous paperwork. Quick reference guide. Get the most out of your phone. Terms and conditions. Blah, blah, blah. Put that over to the side. So, here's the phone. Let's look at it. Look at, look at the magic. Focus, focus, focus. Magic. We got our power button here, volume buttons here, speaker on the bottom, speaker, your uh, charging port, you got your S pin. for right now because I have not put my accessories on here and it would be a disaster if something happened to this phone okay check out some info to get started hmm 
I have read and agreed to all of the above. It's not exactly true, but I won't tell if you won't. Okay, so everything has finished copying to the new phone, all the apps. So now I'm just going through and like recreating my step up. Um, you know, setting up all my apps the way I have them set up on this phone and put them on this phone. And that is going to take a while. So I decided to take a little break from that and get my screen protector and case on this phone. We'll edit, we'll edit that out of y'all because So, I'm going to take a little break and get my case and screen protector put on the new phone so I feel very uncomfortable um, just holding the phone like this. is linked down below so we got our wet wipe to, to uh, wet the screen then dry wipe to dry the screen got your stickers we have two covers for the camera on the back of the phone and then we have two for the actual phone and it's cut up there cut out there for the uh, on-screen fingerprint for you. Do they give us any sort of guidance? No, they do not.
Got it. <laughs> Reader. 
There's the bag on here. Here's the little kickstand. So you can do like that, which is nice. And it's metal. So hopefully it'll work with the, um, the dash mount that I have in my car since this piece is metal. Okay, so if you're paying attention to the time on the phone, you'll see I've been at this for a while. The Samsung Smart Switch will bring all your apps over from your old phone. It will import your text messages, call logs, pictures, all of that. But you still have to rearrange your apps all the, the way you like them to be. And you have to go in and put in all your passwords and stuff again. Thank God for password managers. And I could just go in and just type, type away. But finally got my phone to a good spot. There's two more to get set up. Um, like I need to do some data cleanup. I didn't bother doing that because I wanted to get it set up. But yeah, that's where we're at. So this is the phone. Um, it's nice. Swipe here, swipe up. See all your apps. That goes back. That takes you to what's open. Um, close everything. I really like it. There's the camera and there's me, obviously. Um, let's get out of that. Um, so, S Pen. There it is. Press it. It pops out. It's really nice how they have that. And then when you pull it out, it gives you this little menu. And as soon as Canon decides to focus, I'll just read it. You have create note, view all notes, smart select, screen write, live messages, AR doodle, translate, etc. So let's just do create note. Hmm. So side note, I have the screen protector linked below that I'm using, but I'm gonna find another one because it. Um, the fingerprint reader is not working with this screen protector and that's obviously an issue um, and I someone called me earlier and I was trying to decline the call and I kept hitting the button hitting it hitting it and nothing was happening so I'm gonna have to find a different one but here we are in the notes app right excuse my handwriting see how it does that little scratch thing that's really nice. So, so cool. So I really like that. So yeah, there's a lot. See, see that? There's a lot for me to play with with this phone. But yes, that is the unboxing. I'll probably be shooting some more videos um, as I play with different features on the phone. So if you have any questions or comments, please link those down below. I do read my comments and respond to them. Until the next one.